love this song. Watch the sunset Good morning. So I just left my house. I was running a bit late today, so I didn't film like getting ready and everything like that because I didn't have time. So yeah, just on my way to work. I'm gonna go to Andrews tonight because again, like Wednesday, I finish at normal time, 5:30. So yeah, and we're not gonna do anything exciting, I don't think, but. I'll try and vlog it anyway, so I will see you guys after work. Hope you have an amazing day. Bye! Oh, hey guys! So, I just left work and I am driving to Andrew's house. I'm really craving ice cream and it's really, really naughty considering I worked out yesterday. And if I ate ice cream, it would totally defeat the purpose of working out. So I'm going to try to be good and not eat ice cream, but no promises. <laughs> it's a beautiful day today, like gorgeous. Really sunny. Perfect day to be out and about doing something. I'm just glad that when I leave work, it's still sunny or still daylight. <sighs> Just enjoying the drive. Other than seeing Andrew, this has to be my favorite part of going to his house. It's just the drive. Now that I've found a better way that completely avoids bumper to bumper traffic, I enjoy the drive. It gives me time to kind of like, just kind of get off of work mode. I don't know if that makes sense, but like, you know when you kind of finish work and you need to like wind down? This is like my wind down time after work, it's like driving. So yeah, I hope that music's not too loud. I'll be turn it down. I have to wait till there's a safe spot for me to turn it down. And it's like, why do you have to be, I just have to vent for a little bit. <laughs> like, why do you have to be so rude? Like, I'll give you an example. My job, for instance. I think sometimes people take for granted that hairdressers have feelings. And when I first started hairdressing, I had to learn not to take everything so personally. Because I would get really really upset like when somebody would say something to me or make some sort of comment or just be rude in general I would actually get like really really mad and sad and I would cry a lot like cry a lot and whenever someone who was senior to me or my bosses or anyone along those lines would give me constructive criticism I would cry and like take it really really bad but it's like, you know, they're not being mean. They're just telling me, you know, you should do things this way because it's better. And I learned from that. And it actually works out to be good in the end. And now I embrace that constructive criticism. 
Anyway, I'm getting off track. But people being rude, like in general, like although I may not cry anymore, it's still, you know, it builds up and it eats at me, especially when it goes on for like a whole entire week. So everyone's like calling and we're booked out for Christmas, like for the next two weeks, fully booked. Like you'll be happy to find a 45 minute appointment for just a short hair cut and blow dry. Like you want to get foils done and a cut and blow dry, tough luck. You want to get an up style, you want to get like, I don't know, like it's so hard. We're, we're fully booked. So when people are calling and they're like, oh, do you have time on Saturday and it's like Friday? Uh, do you have time on Saturday for um, cut and color? And I'm like, oh, what kind of color do you get? And they're like, just half head of foil. And I said, okay, how long is your hair? Uh, it's past my shoulders. Okay, well, we're going to need at least 45 minutes to apply the color. 45 minutes for it to process. If we need to put a toner on it, we need an extra half an hour because... 5 to 10 minutes to put the toner on, 20 minutes maximum time of toner development, then we need to shampoo, um, condition and massage, then cutting your hair is an extra hour. So that's like a three hour appointment at least. And if her hair is thick, it's going to be even longer. So anyway, no we don't have time. Oh, uh, couldn't you move? people around or like they just they just ask questions like they're the only people on this earth who are getting their hair done at our salon it just it honestly drives me nuts and then they get mad at me when I tell them there's no availability it's like you waited to the day before to book your Christmas appointment that's not my fault that's yours <sighs> anyway oh another thing then they get angry when they specifically request a certain stylist and that stylist is all booked up on the day that they want and it's like oh well that stylist has some availability on this day and that day but not on the day that you want unfortunately they get mad at me it's like well you shouldn't have waited the last second to book up and all the other stylists are perfectly capable of doing your hair you like you know, like we all work in the same environment. We all see you get your hair done all the time. We pretty much have an idea of what you have done. It may not be her doing your hair, but I'm pretty sure we could do as good of a job. People are just insane. They literally drive me bonkers. Anyway, on that note, I'm almost at Andrew's house, so I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for listening to my venting. It really helps. Bye. Okay, I'm at Andrew's house. He's doing homework. Because he's a naughty naughty. Not naughty or he's just kind of cute. Say hi. Hi. What's the answer for that one? The comment below for the answer. Thank you. <laughs> they didn't really get to read it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> hey. Hi, Yelia. Lola. Hi, how are you? Lola, cover. Cover. Cover your eyes. Cover. Cover your eyes. Cover your eyes. Oh. Yeah. Shake? No, shake. Your hands are high. Oh, you do it. Shake. Yay. Up. No, up. Jump. Yay. Sit? No. Oh, no. We don't even have any food, so. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Isn't she cute? She's smelling for food. Hi. Hi. All she does is eat. No, oh, no food here. Let's try the next place. <laughs> Lola, we have nummies. Oh, look how quick she came. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, we actually don't have any food. Animal cruelty. Oh, and look how quick she leaves. Sorry. I don't have time for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm home now. I didn't vlog when I left Andrew's house because nothing exciting was happening, and I'm really super tired, so I'm just going to call it a night.
So thanks for watching today's vlog, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Love you. By the way, I got offered ice cream at Andrew's house and totally ate it. Ah! I know, right? So bad.